Hi, this tutorial is going to show you how to create a cinematic effect using Comic Life and iMovie. Uh, I'm going to start with iMovie because what I want to do is show you the Ken Burns effect. Um, if you take one of your clips and you go to cropping and rotation, um, you get a few different choices. You get fit, crop, or Ken Burns. All right. When I click on Ken Burns, Ken Burns effect allows me to take my camera and pan it over any part of the any part of the image that I want to see. So the whole image here in this case, um, this is the only part I am going to see uh, in this clip. The part that starts with the green, the part that says start, and the part that goes end. Okay, I can test it out and see what it looks like. Meanwhile, in the big city of Chicago at the John Hancock building, see how that looks? Or if I want my end to go like across the screen, I can go ahead and test that out. Meanwhile, in the big city of Chicago at the John Hancock building, but you see mean that clip there, there, um, that doesn't really work because we missed some text up here. And uh, so creating this motion comic does take some forethought. Um, I personally liked just starting at the top and going down. And then what I did is I created another clip, as you can see, and then the shot on, was on the other side, starting with Jake's apartment. You're trying to enter Jake's apartment and then going down. To Thugs are trying to enter Jake's apartment. And I'm going down. Now, when you go back to Comic Life, you see this is just my original image. And I only used two different uh, boxes in this panel uh, because I knew I was gonna use the Ken Burns effect. And if I had eight or 10 boxes in this panel, it would not be possible for me to see all of the stuff going on at that time. So that is the Ken Burns effect and iMovie and Comic Life. So keep it in mind and good luck.